Welcome back to another episode of DIY Golf Car Garage. Today, we're continuing work on our 2010 Club Car President. Today happens to be Solenoid Day. We want to take out our OEM Solenoid and put this new upgraded Solenoid. This particular one is a 400 amp with a 1000 amp interrush. What that means is you put a big motor, a big controller with this, this bad boy will handle all the amperage you can throw at it. So, just take this, go put it on that, and get started. Okay, before we get started over here pulling these batteries out, we always want to remember safety first. Jewelry off, rubber gloves on, eye protection. Now, before we start taking anything loose, first thing we all want to do is put it from run to toe. Next, we want to remove our battery hold downs. Next, we want to loosen or remove any cables so that we can get these center two batteries out. Now with my T40 star, we'll remove this bolt. We can now lift. and tilt forward. Okay, here's our cylinder that we're going to be replacing. We just want to undo all the cables going to it. And slide it right off the base. There we go. And we can go ahead and remove our resistor. Okay, now for our heavy duty solenoid. You can tell it's much larger. It does not slide into place like the older one. But what we're gonna do here is we're gonna have to drill new holes. There's two holes already here, but they're not the right size, but I will utilize one of them. We'll mark a place for the second one. And I will take my drill bit, quarter inch bit. I will drill this hole out a little bit bigger and drill a hole here. Now I did have to go to the hardware store and buy two small bolts to use because this kit did not come with them. Now that we've got the solenoid securely mounted, you notice the holes here in the original wires will not match up with the huge studs coming out of this new solenoid. We're going to have to drill this hole out. Best way I've found is get a pair of vise grips, clamp securely around the outer edge. That way you can take a 3 8 bit, drill it out, and then just wallow it around enlarging that hole so that it will firmly fit around. Fits perfect. Now for the other side. Now before we put our new wires on, we've got to remember to put our 250 ohm resistor back on. I did order a new heavy duty one that will go on here. If you're planning on using your stock one, you will have to drill out the eyelets to match these studs. As you can tell, the two small wires that hooked up with the activation wires on the old 
solenoid or female terminals. This new solenoid will need to put an eyelet, which will be just like this with a little blue end, small hole that will fit just over that. First, we got to cut these ends off and mount that. Then we come out to the post. Now putting these on, it does not matter which side. Either one can go the either way. Connect our red lead up. And it's done. Well, I hope today's episode showing you how to change out a stock solenoid with a 400 amp high amp solenoid was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Don't forget to subscribe. And once again, thank you for visiting us here at DIY Golf Car Garage.